hair tie. Um, I got a new impulse sealer because mine was, like I said, I don't spend a lot of money on stuff. And maybe I should in the long run because I, you know, I did purchase another one. So, but if you're like me, I don't seal a lot of mesh except for the spring and summertime. So that's why I got cheaper um, impulse sealer. Let me show you that first. This was, I looked it up too. It was almost $29. It's called Rev Power Tools Impulse Sealer 400W. So I don't know what that means. And I got it on Amazon. And I'm gonna take it out of the box and everything. If you wanna do a screen capture. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, I'm waiting for it to... Hi, Tina. Hello, Georgiana. Hello, Dee. Hello, hello, hello. I'm sorry, they're going by so fast. Hello, CD. And I, there's a glare on my computer, so... This is what I got from Amazon. Um, let me give you the... There's a SKU number. It's X... 001 F as in Frank A as in Apple W W Q P and when we're done I'll go ahead and put all this information on my page but I got excited y'all I didn't even look at the color I'm just like I need a new impulse sealer it's teal blue <laughs> I'm so excited I love for anybody that knows me blue is my favorite color and teal just makes me happy. I have a mint blue green in my kitchen. And oh, can't get this out, y'all. And I love it. Well, now that I'm looking at it, it's more like a blue. Oh, it did come with a extra thing. So it comes with instructions. Um, I'm gonna throw that box right there. <laughs> Our recycling bin is right there, guys. So I'm not just throwing it away. It comes with the strip replacement. It has the instructions, the purposes of the sealer is to sew the various plastic films package, which applies to food stuff, candy, um, medicine, medicine, local specialties, electric elements, etc. So that's where we're gonna read some comments. Hi Laura! And I'm saying that right name wrong. Athen? Athen? Dan's not here. He normally says um, people uh, hello to people who come in. Sorry if I said your name wrong. So that's what we have. Whatever. That was pretty. Okay. Now for the wood burning tool, I know you can get them at Walmart. I literally have a Walmart so it's so very close to me. This is about the same price. I think this was. $19, um, but it's stay home, you guys. This is something I don't need to go to Walmart for. If I need to go to Walmart, I'm gonna get toilet paper or, you know, essentials. So I just ordered it off of Amazon. It's called, it's from Walnut Howl, How can't talk. Words, words. Walnut Howl. It's so pretty. It's like a little walnut base. And it comes with the wood burner and the tips. I'm only gonna use one, guys. I don't wood burn. And after I'm done with this, if I don't like it, I'm just gonna give it to somebody that wood burns <laughs> so that way they have it. Hello, hello, hi, Vicki. Come on in. So let me open this up. I think it was $19, pretty sure. Ugh. Once again. Oh, this comes in a cool plastic case. I've never had a wood burner, guys. This comes in a really cool, here's the box. This is what it comes in. A really nice plastic case for you to store everything. I won't lose the tips, guys. Awesome, sorry. Every time the wind blows, I'm using my old camera stand, so it's gonna blow, I'm so sorry. But then you can just feel it. When the camera blows in the wind, just go, and you can, I'm sending you my, my warm weather and my wind. <laughs> so that's what we have. 
awesome. So it has the heating element. Let me go ahead and make sure I'm not opening this upside down. This is really cool. I'm actually excited for this. So this is a wood burning tool. I'm going to keep this tip on. I don't know what tip this is. It doesn't really say. It's just the tip that comes with the wood burning tool. And it also comes with a stand, so that way you can put it on the stand when you're not using it. How neat! It's the little things, guys. It's the little things. So I'm gonna put this over here. I think I'm gonna start with my uh, impulse sealer, so that way you can see. Well, you would have to put like, I would put like not, I don't have something here, but you know those grippies that you have um, for the kitchen? Those rubber, um, there's other pot holders, or um, there's the mats. You can put it on there so it doesn't slip. But when you put it away, you just collapse it like that. Then when you're opening it, it may not. And I think I'm gonna put it under my cutting mat so it stays too. If it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. I also have a cookie sheet. This is an old cookie sheet that has been severely burned by the oven by Dan just cooking multiple things believe it or not guys this is clean <laughs> this is clean I even washed it before I took it out here it's clean feel the breeze feel the breeze guys feel the breeze it's clean it's just old and it's burnt to heck so I got this from Melanie with um, mess you up wreaths um, designs and she uses this for wood burning instead of tempered glass because I don't have it. Once again, I'm cheap, so I'm gonna use this. Here. Okay. I'm trying, this okay. is the flexible mount, so yeah, this ain't I great. Yeah, I told him it's a different mount. All right. Hi, Rosanna. Okay, so your work area is Let's the- Let's get this party started. CD says, corner. hi, Dan. Is the, you, okay, so you can see the whole work area, but you can just barely see the numbers You can here. see this? No. Okay, that's what I want them to see, because that's what we're featuring. Uh, hang on then. Let me go ahead and plug her in. This is our flexible armature. It's not great. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is the palette. Oh yeah, you got everything. I think. Do now. Sorry about all the movement, guys. This thing has to settle. This thing sucks. A. Let's stop moving it. Let it settle and stop moving it. Oh, God, it stinks. Is it the garbage? No. So I have the poly burlap mesh, the toughest mesh that you can use on an actual wood sealer or a um, impulse sealer. Anything. Because it's so thick and plasticky. That's what I like. That's a new word, plasticky. So this is what I'm gonna use it on. I'm gonna make a flower with it anyway, so I might as well show you and cut at the same time. This, I don't remember where I got, but the SKU number is R as in Roger, P as in Paul, 810022. Okay, oh, so way, I have my- It's pronounced SKU. Okay. Just kidding. I have my, normally with my impulse sealer, I did the same, I do it with the same, uh, with the other one. I put it on my actual cutting board and I put it between the one and it goes up to three. So I have that baseline right there. So I know that when I pull out, I'm going to pull out to the 11 and it's going to give me a cut of 10. Pull out. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Any questions before? Nope. Hi, Pam. I'm Hi, Pam. There. <laughs> okay, so I like to do a seal first, obviously, because we need a seal right here. So this is my first time with my new machine. I have it turned all the way up. I have it plugged in, and I'm going to. This is a lot sturdier than the other one. It's off. I do it like three times with the poly. Whee. That Whee. happens when it comes with the poly burlap. But 
on my other one, now this is not hot at all, guys. You can put your hand in there. So there's a little bit fraying. I expected that because it's always with the first um, seal at the edges. It's just all gonna, always gonna be wonky. But it is sealed. Jeez. <laughs> what? You laughing at me or a comment? You. Oh, I'm trying to get his little. Why don't you use your fricker? Cause it's inside. You may bring your fricker. Nope. So it is sealed. You can see the dark spots where it is sealed. Okay. She just did a bad job. Yeah. This is my first time with it. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna pull it out to the 11. Okay. Wait. Wait. This is, yeah, it's 10. <laughs> is this yeah. in English? No, you have to be careful, guys, because a lot of these say 10.5 now, and you want a perfect square when you're doing your flowers, so I just made sure that it was 10 inches and not 10.5. Be mindful of that. So I'm putting it out to my 11. Okay. Putting it down. One, two, three. And five. the light goes on. And then you'll hear a click and the light will go off when it is done. Okay. And there we go. Boom, shakalaka. Boom. What is boom. up? What is up? Get boom. some, y'all. Boom, boom, uh. boom, boom. Uh. You like that? You like that? <laughs> uh. Take that. Okay? So yes, the first one is always going to be a little wonky. <clears throat> Did you show them my genius method of storing and hanging? No, I don't want to show them. Oh, okay. Because we're doing this right now. All right. Okay, so that is, if you want to measure, 10 by 10, right there, right there, right there. And then I normally just put it to the side, and then I continue on. Now, if this impulse sealer or any impulse sealer works on poly burlap, in my brain, in my logical thinking, it'll work on anything, except for um, burlap. Hi, Marcella Askins. Hello, because burlap, it's <clears throat> not going to... It's fabric, it'll yeah, catch on fire. Yeah, it'll catch on fire, there's no plastic to seal. You need mesh that has plastic in it where it'll seal the ends. So I'm just pulling out to whatever size you want it. It doesn't have to be 10 by 10, however you're cutting it. I am liking this impulse sealer a lot better than the other one. You told them what the brand is, right? Yeah. I even showed them the box. <clears throat> but how is that helping your business? Haha, <laughs> you got to use your Amazon link. I know, and I'm going to put the link up. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta -da. Ta -da. And you will get, because it's plastic, it's going to have the little flyaways on the end of plastic. Just cut those parts off. You can hardly see them anyways. Outdoor crafting with Amy Rose. What is up, you guys? Right? Okay, I'm going to do one more. <gasps> guys. What has happened? I am so mad. Look at this. Look at this. Look what they did! Look what they did! <laughs> it drives me nuts. Okay, it's not much I can do. I hate that. I hate that, y'all. I hate that. Oh no! So I, <laughs> this is already sealed from the last cut. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on. Um, actually, Pam, uh, I'm not getting any fumes, and the wind is blowing into the garage. So. Yeah, there's no. But we Somehow. have. We're in the garage. <laughs> this right here is the very tip of where the they door opens. See. Well, they did before. Yeah. Um, so, I don't smell an odor. There's no smoke coming off it. And there's no smoke. So, on the other one, there was a lot of smoke. I don't know why this one's not smoking. It's weird. It's probably better. This it's... is a 12 inch. I forgot to mention that. Should you clean this thing off every time so it doesn't get all build up -y? I will clean it off after I do a few. Right now, this, I don't know if you can see that. It's got little plastics. 
what I'll do is I will take my um, pliers and I'll just take it off. It pulls right off because it's plastic. But you will want to clean it every time you use it. Oh, this makes me so angry. This is like a wasted... Mm. What number is the sealer set on the cutting made for the 10 by 10 square? Let me see if you, can see. you can't see that. But it's all the way when you, when you go to measure and if, cut. If you back it up, you can see it. Here, hang on. No, no, they can't see this part. Yeah, they can. Oh, okay. I'm pull it back. Between the one, or I'm sorry, the very tip, one, two, three. Because the impulse sealer is three inches wide, and you know that your cutting edge is halfway between. Yep. So you know it's on the two, so then you pull it out to whatever. Eleven. Eleven. Sure. I don't math good. Because you're oh. going to have an inch of play in it. Yeah. And that I found out just by playing, okay? You should clean uh, every time. I use an old towel when I do it. Yep. Uh, CD Crady says he uses a used gift card to clean it after, after each one. Smart. After each time you, oh. I'm gonna go get a gift card. I normally do it after I get a bunch because these little particles, they don't, I find that they don't come up really well right away. That's why I wait until I get a few done and then I'm able to just pick them up. Let me just show you. Oh, see, I'm talking and I didn't push it down right all the way. That light is on and I'm hearing the clicking. There we go. Ta-da. See there's like, like these little specks, they're not really, they won't come up right away, but Dan is getting an old gift card or an old credit card. I'm sure we have some of those around. <laughs> and we're gonna try your way, CD, why not? Let's help each other. If we have tips and tricks, that always works, right? I'm just cutting off the plastic, these little plastic flyaways. Okay. And then you have a wasted piece right there because they splice things together. Here we go. That drives me nuts. We'll use Amy's stolen door key from Crafters Convention. Oh yeah, I never gave it back. <gasps> CD! Guys. Guys, that's the way to go. CD. Genius, good job. You're a genius, Christopher. Charles. Charles. <laughs> I'm going to change it every time. Charles, Christopher, Charles. <laughs> um, Chuck. Chuck. Can you um, unplug that? Chimichanga. Because now I'm going to try the wood burning too. Charles, Chimichanga. So crazy. we did four pieces of the poly burlap. And if you want me to, guys, just let me know and I'll try. I'll try it on another, um, <coughs> why don't you use this exactly? Another, um, whatchamacallit, um, mesh. Okay, so this, sorry guys. <laughs> you guys like Some, rap? Somebody really wants to have their bass turned up and music. This has the flap on the side, so I'm lining up this edge right here to show right here where I had the impulse sealer, where I set the impulse sealer down. Okay. I wonder how long this takes to heat up. I don't know. Oh, that's your holder for it, huh? Yeah. Oh. Okay. If I stick my tongue on it, that's a good gauge, Yeah, right? go ahead and do it. Ah! What are you doing? Give it to me. Hang on, I got it on the highest setting. Let me see if it... I don't know. I don't know how long it takes to heat up. Uh, it's on, so careful. Okay. So it's on the highest setting. Did you go all the way? Okay. Yeah. It's on the highest setting. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Gail. Hello. Now remember, guys, it's the first time I'm using this. <laughs> Any tips? Well, we've got tips. We've got plenty Jeez, of tips. I can't. See all these tips? 
<laughs> there we go. And it comes in the case, guys. So now when I'm doing this, I'm just going to pull it out to, well, it doesn't matter because I need to seal the edges. Ooh. Mmm. Not thinking the wood burner. Maybe it's not hot enough? No, I don't think it's hot. No? Okay. We're just going to let it set for a minute. And we'll, we got burned, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to try it. This is an, just an old cookie sheet that has been... Mary Lou says she uses the X-Acto knife when she cuts her mesh. Hmm. We should be doing if that. If you're only using a cooking sheet for your burning, you can permanently mark your measurements on it. <gasps> yeah. Genius. I thought about that, but then I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go on the live. Oh, lead-free solder. That's solder. Oh. Okay. Ricky knows how to solder. And it's got a soldering point. He huh. learned soldering in school. I'll be damned. Oh, I'll be darned. Darned. Yeah, hot knife point. Cuts Blech. and shapes a variety of metals. How do you get the plastic off of that? Yeah, Dude. you should be using the Exacto. I should? Yeah, that's what Mary Lou does too. Oh, so everybody uses the Exacto? Well, I don't know. Mary Lou does. So. Well, let's try this and then we'll try the Exacto. Well, we gotta wait for it to cool down first. <laughs> no, you don't need to wait for it to cool down. Look, I feel so French with my cigarette in my long holder. You know what? I'm going to go from this side. Maybe it won't curl as much. <laughs> okay. Can you see me? Hi, guys. So I'm just going to go to the edge. To the window. To the wall. Where was it, my 10? Uh, you're on 10. Okay. So it's here. And I'm going to try wait, to get in between... Me. Where, can they see that, Danny? Yeah. Where they, um, where the um, cross fibers are. I'm gonna try. You're doing it. Wait, wait, slow. No, you didn't, you went crooked. Did I? Yeah, you didn't stay in the grid. I'm not even straight on the wood burner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this sucks. I don't. Mm -mm. You know what? For some, it may be awesome if you're familiar, but me, yeah, I just. This sucks. <laughs> Move your head so that. I way. hate it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not using it, but I hate it. I don't know. I don't know. It's a 10 by 10, but it's kind of wonky. Let's see. Dana Down says she has a metal ruler to keep a straight line. Oh, yeah. Oh, we don't have any metal rulers. Uh, let's see. I used what was on the tool. It says Judy Mowry. Like this, yeah. Marty says he mostly uses the chisel point, or she. Uh, they say that. Uh, Nelly says just she uses what came on it too. Uh, Sophia says she uses a glass cutting board so you can see the lines on your cutting mat. Oh, yeah, that's but genius. That's tempered glass though. Tempered glass is expensive. You better be using tempered. Oh, we got plenty of Pyrex. <laughs> well, we do. We don't have Pyrex. We do too. Matt. No, but you could put like a like a baking dish, and you can see the numbers. All right, I'm gonna try it again, guys. Oh boy. I will try. Oh boy. If you turn it off for a few minutes, I can put the exacto blade on there. Maybe that'll help. Um, let's try it one more time with this. Just hold it there. Hold it here. Yeah, you don't need an assistant with the. Hold on. Lift up. Okay, now. Okay. So I'm going to go from here. I'm just looking at my line that's right here. And I'm going to go down. Cheese and crackers. Stay okay. on target. Stay on target. Middle grid. Keep it slow. Yeah, you have to go super slow. Well, you don't have to, but you run the chance of messing up if you don't. Ta-da! Okay. All, All right. right. Okay. 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 I can she get behind this. A glass cutting board, glass from a picture frame. Never had a problem. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I just, like I said, first time. A lot of great suggestions. Thank yes. you guys. But uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make an executive decision and say we're sticking with the uh, old impulse sealer. <laughs>
All right, guys, now let's do a couple of cuts with the poly burlap check. Because I'm going to be using this in my flower as well. Are you going to throw the handfuls first? I'm going to, I have that hot, so. <laughs> See people dancing, see people clapping. Hot, 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 hot. hot. Okay, so this is another 10 inch. Remember guys, when you're cutting, pay attention to the number now, because it could be a 10 or a 10.5. Judy says your cookie sheet isn't wide enough. Is Judy, it? Mallory, we don't need your your cookie sheet shame <laughs> on here. <laughs> you're right though, you're absolutely right. Yeah. I, was look, I was looking for the bigger one, and for some reason I think I threw that one out, because <laughs> it looks just like this. <laughs> okay, do you wanna... Um... Stacy says she likes both. Yeah, it's not bad. See, you know what? I can see a place for both because I think well, there's some big piece of equipment running across the highway. Anyway, yeah. I can see with this check mesh because it's so thick in so many different points, the impulse sealer might not work so great. So then you can use your uh, crazy old wood burning tool and bada boom, bada bing. Yeah. So this poly check, the SKU number is R's and Roger, P is and Paul, 812. One, H is in Henry, three. Okay. So let's, I think this one's gonna be a little bit easier. It gives me a bigger grid <laughs> to follow. <laughs> so I'm gonna just run it right through here to seal my ends. Are you now? Can you? Sure. I just need to make sure that I have this straight like I'm holding a pencil. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's got zones on here. Yeah, you know what? This seems to be screaming hot. No, no, no. Actually, it doesn't need to be nearly as hot as it is. Oh. According to this chart. Okay. Well, what should it be at? Um, well. Well. Mm. Leather, soft plastic, synthetic fabrics, and wax. It should be on the lowest setting. Oh, well. Uh, ceramics, foam core board, foam pumpkin, soldering, and wood, it should be on the highest. Cork, natural fabrics, paper, stencil, cutting, and wood. Eh. Boring. Who reads instructions? Okay, so I just did a clean edge to uh, seal it. She says turn the cookie sheet around. Turn the cookie sheet around. Like this? No, she didn't say over. She said around. So maybe this is so weird. You're so smart. Who said that? <laughs> That's 10 inches exactly. Is it? Yes. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> See, guys, we don't know it all, and I don't claim to know it all. Okay. Hey, wanna... thanks. Wait, who said that? Yeah. That was Dottie Newman. Dottie Newman. Dottie, you're awesome. Oh, thank you. You know what? We learn with you guys. Do you want to place your hand right here? I don't. You have a hot thing. Right in. here. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere near here. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm just taking the tips right here, and I'm sealing it off. This one is a lot easier to do with the wood burner. Brip, brip, brip. Done. Oh, don't do that again, because I was about to put it down over here. Hey, thanks, Dottie. Thanks, that was Dottie. awesome. Dottie? my turn. I always, I always check myself like three times. Let's go ahead and do it again. Do it. Do it and do it and do it again. No, no, no. no? Okay, never mind. This is where... I have the same problem with the impulse sealer. So I will, I don't like these little nuggets right here. Nuggets! So I'll impulse seal them off. So I'm just gonna cut them off. It's a new name for them. Those are the nuggets. The nuggets. Get rid of them nuggets. They're not nuggets, they're plastic nubs. There you go, plastic nubs. Oh, you got an extra thingy. What extra thingy? She got an extra thingy with her impulse sealer. Yeah, I already told them. Oh, neat. While you were asleep. I wasn't asleep. Snoring. I wasn't snoring, I was snooting. You're snooting? Snooting. Are you snooting? Uh, let's see, Marla Pardee. 
Pagliazzo is here. Why am I trying to measure up? I know this is 10 inches. I don't know. <laughs> when you use this mesh, go between the larger holes. Yep, that's what we've mm -hmm. been doing. Yippers. This mesh is a lot easier. Love it, love everything about it, but this one is going to be like in between here, so I don't think you're going to get an exact cut. No, mm, it'll be fine. You want to hold there, please? It'll be fine? Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, see? I did it again. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Well, it's not exact, but it will more than likely be this weekend. Um, the week I'm going to try to do like little things because uh, we're working, working during the day and trying to get set up. No bueno sometimes. So what am I doing? Not measuring. Uh, using that makes the mesh not fray. Uh, it yes, absolutely. Cindy. Yes, but this seals it. One more, and then I'll go to the impulse sealer. We have two versions. We have this, the wood burner, mm -hmm. which is down there, and then we have the impulse sealer, which is over there. I just need something heavy. Oh, there we go. I'm smart. And I'm useless. So that way you don't have to put your hand there and think I'm going to burn you. No, I'm Which just, I'm not going to. Just color commentary. I do like how fast this does seal. I do. I am not gonna lie with that. It's not where it's like pulling off when your um ooh. And it isn't as if you have to um Oh, I didn't even have to. You don't have to clean off the impulse sealer edge. Yeah, but look at the edge on the wood burner. It burns off. Okay. So there we go. I'm sure there's more to wood burner maintenance. A uh, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the impulse sealer again. Don't worry, Janet. Yep. So if we want to unplugify. Yep, I'm gonna unplugify, and you we need to put this someplace where no. Actually, I'll just put it here. Yeah, that's what it's for. Okay. I don't wanna. I'm not burning nobody. I'm gonna grab that. Can you give me a minute? Mm-hmm. There. Okay. Okay. We're back to my awesome impulse sealer. I am partial to impulse sealers because I have used impulse in, an impulse sealer. Uh, there's no smell. There was there was with using the wood burning. There is a little there was bit. a slight smell because there was a little plastic left on the tip and it burned off. But can you see off. the breeze that's going on? We are outside outdoors. Stacy uses sandpaper to clean off the wood burning tool. That's ah, a great idea. It'll take off the layer of oxidation on the copper as well. Yeah. So. All right. So. I have my impulse sealer in the same spot as it was before, uh, starting at the one inch mark to the three and pulling out to the 11. That's one tap. One. Two taps. And three taps. And pull. I would do say that the impulse sealer does, it 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 seals it, but you get a pull of plastic. Wait till it cools down a little bit. Oh, look what you did. I didn't do that. That's that's plastic. Oh, okay. Wait till it cools down. And that's a little wonky. I'll be fixing that up later. That's just silicone. Then I'm going to mess it up. Okay. Ten or inches. Uh, Janet, yes, on all meshes. Absolutely, except for mm -hmm. fabric meshes. Those just catch fire. No, no, you can use it on fabric meshes. You just can't mm -hmm. use it on um, burlap. Burlap. Oh. Like the fabric mesh. No, I'm talking about mesh made of actual fabric. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like. Well, there's a mesh called fabric mesh. Oh, okay. My bad. I'm not up on the terminology. Sorry, guys. Ugh, get with it, boy. I know. I'm the worst. <clears throat> I'm really digging my impulse sealer. That's a one. And a two. I don't know if you can hear that clicking. <clears throat> a 
Great question, Dorothy Quakenbush. Why in the world are you going out to 11 for a 10-inch cut? Can you explain that for me? I sure can. Because I have my impulse sealer starting on the 1 inch. And it's 3 inches in um, width. So when I pull it out to the 11, it creates that 10 inch. From there to there, 10 inch. Let me show it to you over here. So from the 10, there's 20. That's a little scraggle right there. You see? I'll do one more. <clears throat> I'm getting warm. Are you getting warm? No. I have, well, you have shorts on. I have leggings, black leggings. It's probably not the best thing to be wearing right now. Well, you're not following CD's advice. What? Clean it off after every Oh, time. it'll be fine. That's Danny's favorite line. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Are there any other questions? Um, uh, yeah. Judy Lefebvre says, uh, I bought six dealers last year live them. I'm not sure what that means. The cutting edge is one inch from the side, so you need to go to 11. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mary got it right, yeah. Right. Did Mary. I not say that? No, you did. Mary. I'm sorry if I was a little... You did See, too many words. That's the only thing that I don't like about the impulse sealer, is you have the plastic. Ooh, I almost... <laughs> the plastic uh, strings. The, st the plastic strings. I love this. Thank you, CD. Thank you, CD. And then you can get it off of the silicone. Oh, was I supposed to pull this off? Yeah, probably. But it's bolted in there. Oh my god. I was like, oh, it's cool. It's blue metal. Guys, the little things. I just started, saw it start pulling, and I'm like, oh, maybe that. I thought you left it on there because you're just crazy. No, I didn't realize. Do as I say, not as I do. Well, what yeah. are you using to clean it with? We are using the stolen room key. It's not stolen. From, they reactivate cards all the time. From Crafters Convention, from the Four Points by Sheraton. Yep. It's a little memento I took home, so now I'm going to use it for crafting. From okay. From Crafters Convention. You know Mary Jane? Oh, you. God. It's right here. I know. Here we go. From the trash to your eye holes. It was on top and it's the recycling bin. <clears throat> it is a hotel key card. Yeah. Dorothy. <laughs> I really like this impulse sealer, but I really like the clean, like sharp cuts that the uh, wood burner gives. We're gonna have to figure out what's what. I don't like, know. What what? You got a bat in the belfry. <laughs> Other nostril. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think it was I think it's a piece of like melted mesh. <laughs> Don't say that. She got a piece of melted mesh up her nose. It was so gross. <laughs> um what did it cost? I have no idea. What size is it? It is a eleven inch, I think. Let me see. Two to fifteen, so thirteen inches? <laughs> So that's 10 right there. So 10 plus 2. So yeah, probably 12, 12 inches. We'll say okay. 12 inches. Okay. Um, it's 12 inches. Let's see. What's the model number and where did y'all get it? Okay, so we got this from the Amazons, from Amazon. And here, hang on. It was like $29. There you go. Maybe you can scan that with your Amazon shopping barcode reader on your phone. And it should come up real nice. So what do you guys think? Impulse sealer or wood burner? I, I, I thought I had a favorite. I thought I had a favorite. I like how fast the impulse sealer goes, but I like... The precision. The precision of the wood burner. So here's my... Did I bring it up? Okay. <laughs> Here's Amy's final call, final review. Here's my final review, guys. <laughs> Do 
12 inch for $26.99 at the Amazons. Just waiting for Dan to, maybe it was 26 and not 29. If you have the window pane or the um, check, I would use the wood burner all day, every day, because that is a lot easier than the impulse sealer. You get a, you get a more exact the, cut. Yeah, is what she means. With the poly burlap, I would use the impulse sealer. Fabric mesh. It's not. Um, it's not. Uh, it doesn't have the pattern in here as it does in here. So that's why I would do it on the impulse sealer and just cut them out. Cut them out. Uh, with that's the fabric ones. Do you want to go get a fabric mesh for me? No. I'll do it. What are you doing? Nothing. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Okay. All right. So this is fabric mesh. Um, I already had it out of the um, packaging. Can you tell I've worked all day? It's when my brain just like shuts off and I'm like, Ugh. Hey, Dorothy has a solar yellow soul. Really? I love my soul. That, I can put the two grids that I have for craft shows and the two towers, the two grids, almost all my wreaths the day before into that thing. Love my soul. That soul is small but mighty. Love my soul. All right, one more time, guys. Sorry. Down we go. Down you go. Is that still plugged in? So this is a really pretty um, hot pink and lime green fabric mesh. I am just going to seal the edges. Ugh, I'm trying to get it straight. Do you need to wear a mask? Uh, I mean, we're well ventilated. If you're not well ventilated, probably. And I'm not by it at all. That didn't take long. <laughs> Hold on. Hold up, wait a minute. It's so little. Let me get another, let me get a bigger chunk. Hang on. Why is it sticking up there? I do it three pulses. What the heck happened? Okay, so that doesn't work on there. Hmm. Do you have it up to the highest? <laughs> Yeah, I have it cranked up. We'll pull out 10 inches and see what happens. <clears throat> Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I... Maybe this impulse sealer actually sucks. Well, I thought I did. There's one. Okay, that one seems a little better. Three. As a fly. It's like it wants to cut. This is on the highest setting. Huh. I'm gonna have to do a thing. Well, if you do fabric mesh and you're doing like a, um, a petal that doesn't require you to see the edges, like if you're doing the lolly or the sunflower or the rosy posy, then you won't have to heat seal. I just like the doesn't cut. Maybe it wasn't. My other one didn't cut it. Okay, that's not screaming hot yet. Yeah, they were saying that the um, impulse sealer does not cut. Why? Can you please not do that now? I'm doing it. I need you to read comments. You're not doing nothing but wait for it to heat, heat up. He's decided he's gonna put why, who knows, because we're not going anywhere. Maybe it wasn't fabric mesh that I used on my other with my other impulse sealer. Hold up. I'm just waiting for that to be screaming a hot again. That's all. I'm checking comments. 
since Dan has decided to be doing something else when we could upload this to YouTube. you're saying they'll heat seal a portion Ow. and then I gotcha heat and then they'll cut it right you, here yeah. and you cut seal it and but, use scissors to cut it apart yeah. but I'm thinking that I won't need to that'll automatically heat seal and I won't have to do that extra step of sealing then cutting sealing then cutting I'll just cut it's all the way up let me see if it's hot yeah Put it against your nose. Uh, hold this for a second. All right, guys. No, wait, Let's wait, wait. try it out. Touch it onto this. I ain't cutting nothing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I can feel it. Yep, smells burny. <laughs> yep, 